Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here with Tobias with the Liebherr 33L. And it's remote control, folks. But Tobias, what is the Liebherr 33L? Tell me about it. You know, thanks Peter for this question. I mean, we have here the 33L. It's a, one of our smaller self-erector cranes. It was already launched in March this year. And what I want to show you today is teasing a small highlight out of it because this crane does not only have our new operating system, the operating system also enables us to do some new active assistance systems. Right, so first of all, why would I need a crane like this and where would I typically be using it? Okay, usually you are on a smaller housing ground, so you build up smaller houses like family uh, or for two families a house, so in this size, the crane has a maximum capacity of uh, 1050 kilograms at six uh, at 30 meters of chip lengths yeah so that's e ideal to get on these smaller uh, load handlings um, yeah and therefore it's perfect yeah and so of course with its smaller size as well transportating it to the job site is a lot easier i take it absolutely i mean it's very flexible you can pull it into the smaller roads especially when you have these areas where a lot of new housing is going to be established you can easily pull them uh, or drive them on the road to get them to the place where it's going to be used to. Much more easy than a big one, for sure. So we see it here, and how is, is it operated? Because we've seen this here, but also, where's the power coming from? The power in this case is coming from the battery. Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> exactly, folks. It's just over there, the battery. Yeah, yep. yeah. I mean, all of our cranes are electrical driven, so yep. we, are, we are quite green, yep. if you can say it like this. And this crane size, for example, is perfectly used uh, with, a, with a generator, but a new battery generator, we call it the LPO100. Yep. This is done by Leaper uh, uh, as a group, and the development was strongly related also with the tower crane division, because it makes sense to run these smaller cranes uh, on one hand completely autark, so without any connection to the ground. That's correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah or yeah. even the bigger cranes, like when you go to inner city uh, construction sites, there you can use this one to really get out these high peaks yep. and to get the big crane more easily connected uh, to the ground and to ensure that the current uh, net is stable all the time. So the thing about crane folks is it lifts stuff. So come on over here. Okay. One of the very important things about a crane is this hook right here, isn't it, Tobias? Absolutely. And so <laughs> now, Tobias, one critical thing that you've done probably wrong in this interview is let me have a go on it. But I've got to press a button now, folks. Right here is that button. Stand back, because then I am going to operate this crane and look at the power in my hands. And the function, what, you, what you're activating right now is our vertical line finder. Right, okay. What? Oh, look, it's moving. Yeah, absolutely. And right. Here on top, the trolley is now moving, you see? Right, so we stand back a bit further, folks. We had an angle. In the beginning, so we were not yeah, three percent. That's right. But just by pushing this button, you are now going to drive the crane safely. You know, you are a crane driver. I'm a safe crane operator. Am I a sustainably safe crane operator? Because I'm operating an electric crane, and that's it. I've got it in the vertical motion. That's enough from me, folks, because I'm keeping safe here at the press launch. But I can see, understand now that if I'm just hooked it on and I've not sort of messed around with the crane, it's doing that automatically. So Absolutely. this is like an assist function for the operator, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's very, that's what it's designed for. It's a very huge functionality because usually on construction site, it's very narrow, it's dense, you have a lot of uh, pieces and parts staying around. And yeah. once you are not totally focused and the load starts swinging, you might have dangerous situations and with this solution, we can yep. ensure that this will be safe all the time. So I think it's a benefit. I think it's a benefit and safely up and folks, as you've seen, safely down. So, thank you very much, Tobias. I'm now going to hand over this to yourself. You're hired, and we're <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks.